This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and today I'm speaking to Tony Fisher Cripps from Fisher Cripps Laboratories and he's going to tell us about their IBIS nano indentation system. Thank you Cameron for that nice introduction. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about nano indentation today and explain what the IBIS nano indentation system is and how it works. Nano indentation is used for the measurement of uh, mechanical properties of uh, thin films in particular on a nanometer scale. The instrument works by uh, measuring the force applied to an indenter and the indenter is usually made from diamond and that rests against the surface of the specimen. The instrument applies a known value of force to the specimen and the depth of penetration is measured by a depth sensor. Typical depths of penetration are about 100 nanometers, but can be as low as 10 nanometers. The instrument works by software control, where the user inputs test parameters, for example, the maximum load, the number of increments of load to apply, and how many indentations to perform. And then the resulting uh, deformation in the specimen looks something like this. This is an impression made by a Berkovich triangular pyramid indenter into a sample of fused silica, which is a sort of a glass. And the interesting thing about this specimen is that it results in, uh, under indentation loading, a plastic impression in what is normally a brittle material that would fracture under normal tensile loading. After deformation, the instrument records, uh, well, during deformation, the instrument records the load applied to the indenter and the depth of penetration, and the data looks like uh, this. This is a, a series of load displacement curves, um, and in this case, the maximum depth of penetration is about 70 nanometers, starting from about 5 nanometers. So for this particular test, we're able to calculate the elastic modulus and the hardness at depths of penetration from about 5 to 70 nanometers. And that's what normally this type of instrument is used for, and it's particularly useful for thin film specimens where the user would like to know the mechanical properties of the film without influence from the substrate. Another popular application of this sort of system is for scratch testing, particularly of thin film specimens. In this case what we do is uh, move the specimen underneath the indenter while the load is applied in the vertical direction. At the end of the scratch test we have a very nicely controlled uh, scratch in the surface from which we can measure the friction coefficient and therefore determine whether the sample has delaminated or if there has been any other damage during that scratch testing. Nano indentation is uh, used often in mineral analysis for the measurement of mechanical properties of individual grains in a, in a steel or a ceramic and sometimes minerals like iron ore and coke and coal. It can be used for thin film testing as I've explained before where we wish to measure the mechanical properties of the film and sometimes we just want to measure uh, uh, introduce a controlled amount of damage in a surface and this is a cross-section view where the surface may appear just to have a small dimple in it but in cross-section the in this case the silicon substrate has cracked considerably so this type of instrumentation can be used for uh, a very precise control of the load applied to um, micron to submicron sized uh, specimens In many cases we like to calculate the stresses underneath the indenter and these stresses are very high. They can be usually in the order of gigapascals which is a, a quite a high level of stress for mechanical components to withstand and so the finite element method can be used to model the stress fields underneath the indentation and the IBIS software allows you to perform this modelling um, in a push button fashion without having uh, any prior knowledge of the finite element method. The system itself comprises a load frame, XY stage positioning and uh, the measurement head. In this system the XY stage positioning is closed loop control and so is the vertical application of force. We can operate in force control or depth control in a closed loop manner and this makes the measurement uh, extremely accurate and repeatable. 
Typically the sample is put under the indenter with a small clearance working distance of about 100 microns and the indenter then comes down to make initial contact and then the test proceeds uh, applying up to maximum load in a number of load increments. And the user can then take that data away and analyse it later on their own computer to work out the mechanical properties. We sell this system all over the world and it's typically used by university research departments uh, and large-scale research organisations like uh, Ford and GMH, uh, people like Intel, those sort of people who are in the semiconductor industry, anywhere where there's uh, a need to measure the mechanical uh, deflection and properties of micron to submicron mechanical specimens. If you'd like to see our website at www.ibisonline.com.au, there's a free booklet there that you can download which gives you all the theoretical basis for the measurement technique and some practical applications. Thank you Cameron for this wonderful opportunity to present the, uh, the system to you.